Braised fennel and celery flounder is a unique recipe for a highly prized fish, but Chef Tenney says any white flesh fish will work with this recipe. So let's get back to the kitchen. All right, we've got a nice little flounder here, and we've got both our fillets are from the fat side. I'm just going to salt and pepper both sides of the fish and dust it in a little flour. Remember, flounder is a very delicate fish, cooks very quickly. Don't want to overcook it. That's why it's so good fried. And since it kind of gets skinny down to the tail end, I'm going to take it and fold it over like that to make it, uh, make it cook more evenly. Okay, I've got a hot pan on the stove, a little bit of olive oil which could be canola oil or any kind of light oil you got. A little piece of butter for color and flavor. Also a good thing about putting a little piece of butter in there is you're immediately able to see how hot your pan is. See how I've got that piece folded over there so it's the same thickness. All right, we're going to cook that on fairly high heat for about two minutes. All right, we've got a nice color on our first side, and see how I'm tilting the skillet away from myself so I don't splash oil on me or anybody else. Well, that's a pretty color, isn't it? All right, we're about two minutes out, and our braised fennel and celery is pretty much ready to go, so. Take a look at that. Oh yeah. All right, our flounder's ready to go, nice and brown, very lightly cooked. I'm gonna shingle these two fillets just like that. And then I'm going to put some of this good braised fennel and celery and bacon and veal jus right on top like that. And it's made a really nice sauce down in there and that's going to go around the plate. And I'm going to use a sprig of fennel to garnish that with. There's our finished dish, sautéed Louisiana flounder with braised fennel and celery. GW Fins has dinner items so fresh, they print a new menu every day. Call Virginia. Tell her CT said to give you the best seat in the house. There, there we go. go. Boy, that's a nice Meow, pretty. That, that's Good fish. fish. Closer. I tell you, that's, that's probably <laughs> half the fish we caught. We're about that size. Yeah, you're pretty. Um, you know, or bigger. We had a few that might have been a little smaller, but not many. Ain't that four pounder we're looking for? Talk about. <laughs> well, you, know, you said you said that you'd been catching some really nice fish out here, um, and that you thought that they were a little big for what normally runs this area. Tell me a little bit about uh, is that is that something that was just uh, uh, an exception, or seasonally? Do you see the big fish towards the beginning uh, of winter? Yeah, bit? typically it's March, and then say like now, you know, November-ish, based on weather. Basically, in the spring, they've got their spawning yep. senses going and they're, they're feeding to, so that they can fatten up to spawn. And then this time of year, they're feeding pretty heavily in order right, to get fat, fat for the winter for because the winter they're going to lose weight and, and uh, go kind of dormant, semi dormant in the winter yeah, time. Right. So you get a little, you know, a lot of people think of spring is your big trout time. Truth is, it, it, all records in the state are caught in uh, April, May, June, or at least most. But there's another little. You know, a little, little spurt of feeding that the, the big the big girls do late in the season, and this is yeah. it. Tofield, talk to us a little bit about bourgeois charters, um, what what people can expect, what you offer, how they can get in touch. And the best way is website. Website. Mm -hmm. New Orleans Fishing has everything. You know, everything you know, with pricing. NewOrleansFishing.com. Yep. Easy to remember. Come to New Orleans. NewOrleansFishing.com. But the key thing is the facility has everything. We sleep 50 people. Got a full-time chef. We have all the boats ready. You walk out from, from breakfast, walk straight out to the dock, you jump in the boat. Boats in the water. And uh, this time of year, you're about five minutes from fishing. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty important. If you want information on how to fish with Captain Tofield Bourgeois, you got it, neworleansfishing.com. If you'd like to fish with anybody along coastal Louisiana from Lake Charles to Lake Pontchartrain, 
LouisianaCharterBoardAssociation.com website will give you some more information. And if you just want to make a free phone call for a free brochure for those of you out of state, it's 1-800-70-GUMBO. Not only can we hook you up with Tofia, we can also hook you up with some great other things to do in Louisiana. So there you go. That's this week's Louisiana Wildlife. Thank you for joining us. We hope to see you again next week. While you guys move on to whatever the next thing is on the schedule, I think we're going to try to catch one or two we more. We're going to get some more. We still got to get that big one. The big one's got away. We're going to miss you while we do this. <laughs> yeah, you're right. See you next week. All right. Put him in a box. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, that, that, that would be... You get into the board of my seeds of two on because I'm still <laughs> over mine in my hand. He, he, that is nice. He, he hit that right by the boat. He was following that's looking it. Looking good, boy. Looking Kissed good. it twice. And oh, uh, finally, inside he come in. It's big, and I give it to you. Oh, that's yeah, all right, big. though. Whoa, honey, out there. <laughs>a new year at Ray Brandt Dodge Chrysler Jeep on the West Bank and what a new year with 0% APR plus $3,500 rebate. Get the 08 Ram regular cab 1500 with navigation for only $12,900 or the 08 Ram 1500 Bighorn quad cab with navigation for only $19,900 and both come with a lifetime powertrain warranty only at Ray Brandt Dodge Chrysler Jeep 1660 West Bank Expressway in Harvey.